And we're live. Hello guys, this is a special, very special uh, Kino episode. We are on our way, we have been invited to a, a special event at uh, Ellis. Uh, me, uh, Alex, and a few of our staff. So, I know some of you have become addicted to the David podcast, and I didn't want to leave you hanging. So, but we have to do this early because the Golden Knights thing goes off uh, like around 6.15. And uh, interestingly, and I want to put out a word out to Steve. Thank you so much, Steve. Steve is like, yes, I've invited a whole bunch of VIPs and Casino Quest and you and Alex. So, all right, there we go. But uh, back to the Kino. So this is going to be a very special episode. Those of you who are not Kino haters and are interested in David's Kino expertise, I'm about to share uh, a whole lot of information with you, the games that I play, how I play, why I play, in about 15 minutes, we're going to try to get through this very quickly. So I'm going to be very focused. Uh, and by the way, uh, a quick shout out, hello to everyone who is. Uh, is there anybody in here now? Well, listen, we, we, don't, we don't got a lot of time. All right, we don't we got a lot of time. Two minutes right. in. So here, first thing I want to do is I want to. I want to. This is my game. This is my Kino machine. Just so you know, it's only here for entertainment purposes. I test my strategies. Uh, I work out my um, my different types of Kino plays. So I will tell you. The first thing I do is I look for the lowest denomination I could possibly find. So many casinos nowadays, two cents, five cents, some of them are 25 cents, 25 cents, a little much for me. I try to start at five cents, then I create tiers of opportunity. As I win, I move up tiers. I go to kind of a different game, different pay scale, that kind of thing. So that's, that's one of the ways I've been able to collect uh, a few extra jackpots over the years. Uh, because I'm looking for an exit. So if my buy-in is 100, for example, typically the exit I'm looking for is 5 or 10x. So if I just win 100, I don't grind into the same level of play. I move up play. So now I have double my money. I can bet double my initial bet. So I'm constantly looking to increase the opportunity they have in the machine. Next thing is I divide my gameplay into a few different tiers. The first thing I do is I play multi-card Kino. For those, by the way, this is for people who enjoy Kino. Uh, if I buy it for a $100 bill, I play my first $50 on multi-card Kino. The reason I do that is I try to max out whatever the jackpot meter, whatever is ready to hit, whatever is ready to go, I try to max it out by playing multi-card. As you all know, I do, a, I do compounding numbers. So here is one example. This is nine spots overlapping. So I have A, nine spots located here, B, nine spots down. You can do the top or the bottom. It really doesn't matter. Again, it's a slot curve, right? So it's paying on a slot curve. As much as we would love for it to be a random number generator, it's just not the way it is. But if the, the reason why I like nine spots is if you'll notice, there's lots of ammo. So if I can get some of these ammo, I can have my ass in chair as long as possible until this machine, this baby's ready to blow. And when it's ready to blow, I'm here Oh God, this is gonna go south really quick. Let's just say when it's ready to hit, I'm here uh, waiting for it. And the idea behind compounding the numbers allows me to maximize whatever that jackpot meter is. So here's D's, E, F, G, and then and then I go to okay, and then I go to H. Okay, H. Can they see all that? Uh, and then on the bottom, I do nines overlapping, and then I do for the I J uh, I J I J S and T. I do tens across, so I have nines and tens. All of which great ammo spots, great jackpot spots. If you can, if you, you listen, you only need eight really. If you have enough coins in, hitting eight is fantastic. The pay meter on this machine is a little high, just so you know, because it's David's machine. So of course it's going to be a little high. Um, uh, but anyway, so the other the other thing I play is, uh, and and I just we just had a guy in the other day who talked about how much fun he has, and I'm, I'm going to show you this in real time. So I d uh, there's also, you can, so here, you hit show card, erase all, right? Uh, and by the way, for those of you who play 20 card, if when you hit erase all, if it's a little bit slow resetting the cards, all you have to do is hit the screen and it'll advance as quickly as possible. You don't have to wait for it to kind of cycle through. You can just hit the screen, it'll speed it up. Now there's a couple of different, uh, other different ways I compound. You can also do eights. So you hit, you hit one, you can do eights overlapping, B, and you just literally, you know, so, so uh, uh, Alex, Dennis, the first time Dennis hit a jackpot, hit it right on this. We did this at Resorts World and bam, knocked uh, it right out. Quick thing, I will say yes, thank sir. you, Derek, for the five memberships. Oh, 
He gifted five memberships. Thank you, sir. Uh, now watch this. Thank you very much. Okay, K L uh, Unholy Chaos said, when it's ready to blow, they will be ready to receive. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, I, I didn't want to say it myself, but there you go. Okay, sir, I gave you. That's like free money right there. That's like free money. I knew everybody was going to walk into that one. We have, there's so much innuendo on this channel. It's just, it's just so hard. It's so hard. <laughs> see what I'm saying? Uh, anyways, all right. Uh, I, J, okay, and then we got these. We got two extra cards ready for us. Um, it, it, you know what they say, buddy? It's only hard if you suck. That's why you're sucking, right? That's the expression. That's it's only hard if you suck. Those of you, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so then, then there's, there's like two extra, uh, there's two extra, you know, things. We can do whatever the hell we want. But you know what I'm saying? So, so the idea is to overlap. Now, why do we overlap? Because that, that allows us, A, the machine can pay us just one of those, or if it has more money to pay out, we've compounded a little bit and we could pay you know, a lot more. If we spread out all of our numbers, if we do the big spready, uh, we're not going to get back, we're not always going to be able to max out whatever the machine's ready to pay. Uh, it's going to minimize that. So I, I recommend not spreading out completely. And here I still have everything marked, so it's still going to be dinging, dinging, dinging. You know, it'll sound like I'm a winner almost every time I hit the button. And for some of us, you know, that's the ASMR of a Kino machine. All right, well, here, I'm going I'm to show you one more set of numbers that I, I, I'm really not the biggest fan of. But if, if you're really looking to kind of get one pay you're, and you're not interested in compounding, you know, I do this, see? Makes it really easy. You don't have to remember A and then B, eights all the way down. You know what I'm saying? And you do you just do all of this. You just do all eight spots. And then and then you do K through R, you do ten spots all the way across. Ten spots. Now, the the problem is you're not as much as you have all the numbers marked, you're not really compounding the spot. All right. You're either gonna get something all the way across or you're gonna get, you know, like an eight spot all the way down. I mean, maybe in some weird, you know, weird alternative universe, you get 16 numbers, you get two eight, two eight spots, but but that doesn't happen. But it is a good way to just stay in play, collect some ammo. Uh, but the, that type of that type of play in a machine, you're either going to be winning or, or losing very quickly. All right, we have a super chat for two dollars oh. from Neil one four four two. That's one poll. That's it. He said, "Thanks for the keynote today." Yeah. See what I'm saying? Everyone's been asking for Kino. Now, I do want to mention, yes. this is not a super chat, uh -oh. but James James says, no, 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 no. It's only hard if you suck dot, dot, dot correctly. Okay, I'll give you that. That's, that's a free. That's, Tim that's G. Free. That's true. Also said, please yeah. change the channel name to Kino Quest. Uh, we, <laughs> you have no idea. I mean, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with, I mean, it's not like the whole, I want to start a new channel and do Kino. Uh, you know what I mean? We can do Kino stories. We can talk about because you know. By the way, there's a lot of different machines out there. Personally, my favorite. It won't let me leave the thing because it wants me to mark everything. Um, but uh, the U ones, Dotties has these U ones machines. They're also at El Cortez. There's a few locations that has them. I think they're at Ellis even. And I love the paybacks. I, I love the types of games that they have. Uh, but but I also like some of the classic super weight Kino is a three six nine Kino is another one that I that I find I would love to have that on this machine here I, I have to actually hit this big boy all right we're, we're playing one and then I'm gonna go to the see that didn't work out everyone's like oh my god all right so here's what I do I play the first fifty bucks on multi car Kino and then I go to Caveman Plus I know a lot of people like Caveman Kino stay away from Caveman Kino especially if so so Caveman Kino works like this all right you set your numbers here we're gonna put one in a race uh, I always go for an eight spot on caveman all right so here's where one of my very first hints are look for a payback the minimum payback for less than half the number so I only need on on caveman Kino specifically I only need three numbers to get my money back so I can mark an eight spot I only need three that's less than half of my numbers if you play regular Kino for example uh, you have to bet seven spots seven spots you get three numbers you get your money back so that, that's pretty good but on regular Kino you typically need four numbers or half your numbers to get your money back now the great thing about caveman and getting back you know your money back with only three hits is you can kind of sit again sit in the seat long enough to with the hopes of you know getting a return now I love caveman Kino for the very end when I'm down to my last five dollars or ten dollars especially if I have more time to kill I'm not ready to leave I got a cocktail on the way whatever the case is 
uh, and you're going to get a bonus. So here's what happens. So if I, if I get, if the winning, if I win, okay, meaning I get at least three numbers, and there's two eggs selected, I get either, I get four times, okay, what I would normally have won. If there's three eggs selected on a win, I can win up to 10 times. Some, there are some machines that pay back 10, but most machines are four, four times for uh, two eggs, eight times for three eggs, but there are some machines that pay 10. Now, if you'll notice here, I'm just gonna leave this as an example. So I just put in one coin on the eight spot, it pays a thousand, right? Uh, I'm gonna go to K Mankino, and you know what? I haven't really investigated this yet, but here, let's do one. See. So here I have, it's the same thing. I got one coin in, I get paid a little less on the lower tiers, but you see how for eight spots I get more? And here's what happens with here, on, on K Mankino Plus, on a winning hand with eggs, I get three more numbers on top of it. And I get the four and eight as well. So I get, well, I, do I get more balls, and we're always about more balls. So listen, see how this has two eggs? If I had one here, Okay, I would have gotten three more bowls towards this top payoff. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Three oh. more bowls pays, dude. You know, you know what I'm saying. I digress. The a crap shooter says, gave us two dollars. Says, if you spread it, does it blow faster? Just asking. Yeah. Well, I mean, it really depends on the spread, dude. It depends on what kind of spread you have work. If you keep the spread tight, the tight spread, I think, has the faster blowy experience. You know what I'm saying? The tighter the spread. Is this, are we talking, this is keto, this is keto magic over here, but you see what I'm saying? You see how much better, Caveman Plus, it, it sounds like by saying plus, you're going to get less, but plus really means plus. So if you, if you're at a casino and you see the variety, right, you should look for, what I look for on these games, the Game King specifically, multi denom multi-card, Caveman Plus, and then Cleopatra, yes. So Cleopatra, we're going to go to Cleopatra, again, here is one, I play Cleopatra for ammo, not a hit. I play Caveman for a hit. I actually play Caveman to win. I play Multicard to win. I play Cleo only for ammo. Dude, when I get down to my last whatever it is, or I, I will play Caveman. It's a great ammo game. I always bet nine numbers, or, or as many numbers as possible. I really want to get to that last scarab. So... If you have a winning, if you get, you know, whatever the minimum number of hits you, you need to win your money back, and it's a scarab, that last number is a scarab, you go to the bonus round and you can win double, right? I have very rarely, so the payouts are fairly low. You really, the paybacks on these machines only work out well if you get to that bonus round. But it's a great machine to build up ammo, and it keeps you playing for a very long time. I can't even begin to tell you how many times I have gotten where my final, my final game uh, was on Clio, and I managed to hit, you know, a seven, or I'm in the bonus round, and now I get, and then I use those, those credits to go back to multi-card. All right, well, I will say, Lucky Later Child says, Kinky Kino with David. Oh, did, you, did you see it? Did you see the bonus coming up? Did you see it? So 12 free plays, now double, all right? Did you hear what I said? Uh, oh, did you hear what who said? What, did you hear what I said? What did you say? Lady, uh, Luck Lady Travel says, Kinky Kino with David. No, we love Kino. K oh, Kinky Kino? We can do After Dark Kino. We would love that. Dude, I, I just, I, I mean, it's just a great way to just chill, spend some time with friends, hang out, have a drink. That's what we should do, a little After Dark. You know what I mean? But now, this one's worked out really well. But you see, look, look at this. Uh, I've won a whole, oh, look, oh, 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 did you see that? Look at that. See? Ammo. Of course, I'm playing nickels, and I have 5,000 nickels in this machine, so I'm really not in need of a whole lot of ammo, but you know what I mean? That's a lot of fun. So now I would take this, I would go back to 20 card, and here's what we're going to do. Uh, for the last couple minutes, we're going to see if I can max out this bad boy. So you bet all cards. Okay, there's 20 cards. Put 20 bets in. Uh, I erase all, and then we're going to do the nines, huh? This is, uh, this, is the, this is the cards that me and Dennis, we won 1800 on this the other day at Red Rock. Remember that, buddy? Remember that? 1800 bucks While we were on the phone with our Kino hater, uh, Nick, uh, we won 1800 literally while talking to Nick on the phone. We were at Red Rock High Limit. If you wonder why High Limit, uh, uh, High Limit has the best paybacks. I mean, typically, right? You know what I mean? Uh, and 
And believe it or not, all the machines there are all the same. They're all the same. They're 25 cents. You can go to high limit and play the same machine that's on the regular floor for Kino. You know what I mean? A little secret. You know what I mean? You get more cocktails. Uh, you know what I mean? You get better paybacks. I mean, it's a win-win, dude. Every now and then they'll come in and they'll give you a little massage. A lot of happy, a lot of happy endings going on. What do you think? Huh? Huh? Mm. Well, did we had a happy ending because it was eighteen hundred dollar exit, dude? That's pretty happy, dude. That's that's all I need, dude. At the, at, at my age, that's it. That's good. That's fantastic. All right, so here we have so a five dollar super chat from uh, Derek. That's says, like three rolls, David. Dude, what do you got? Think Alex is mine, and next time you'll hear spread it. Uh, this is true. where the the chat mine is right now, by the uh, way. Uh, yeah, everybody's all on the spready, the tight spready. Uh, uh, Tony G. Yeah. Gave us uh, $2.79 no, Canadian. Oh, that's like $3. I know, what is that? $2.79 Canadian? Yep. He said, keep up the good work. Love the Kino videos. Uh, see, though, this is just a tease, dude. We're gonna, we, can, we can actually do live Kino at... So what I would love to do in the future is we set up the numbers here. We all get to an agreement. And then we go and have fun, like virtually speaking. Like, you know, I go to the casino. We play the, we play the numbers and we have a great... Okay, so I'm in 40. And now, uh, you ever, ever, anybody ever, ever have like a weird brain day? I'm having a weird brain day today. I think it's a lack of food. We haven't eaten because we're going to this little party. And by the way, thank you so much to Ellis for inviting us. We, oh, oh my God. Did you, did you see this? Did you see this hit right off the bat? You see what I'm saying? No, I'm only I'm looking only, at chat to be honest with you. You're, you're focusing on the chat. I mean, hey, it's Dill says, what denominations does David typically play on each t game type? Okay, so, I mean, realistically, here's the thing that, I used to play only two cents, so I would play 40 cents a spin on these. Now I play, I, I typically play $2, uh, so I, I put in 100 bucks, uh, I play $2 a, a hit, what is that, uh, whatever the hell that is, uh, and then, um, I, you know, I, again, I, I get down to 50, and then I switch games, so I go to games where there's less cards, uh, and, and, and more opportunity for me at least to stay in, stay in play. So, you know, I'll go to four card, I'll go to caveman, I'll go to Cleo, that type of thing. And I, I keep progressively trying to stay in the seat. So that's the goal. So initially I go for the hit and then I kind of go for ammo, stay in the seat. Uh, and I, I essentially reduce my, so when I get to four card, I'm only in like a quarter a card, that kind of thing. But, but nowadays, some of the casinos on, you know, my side of town is 25 cent Kino. You got to put in $5 a whack. And I still come in literally the same hundred bucks. And if I don't get any ammo, I'm just SOL. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. So I have a feeling this this machine popped not too long ago. There was a there's a few cakes and pies going on, but uh, but we don't have too long to max this out because holy crap. Okay, hungry. we have a couple of super chats. Oh. Uh, LVD Gen gave us two dollars. Says, Thank you, where LV. is the best place on the strip for multi? Dude, you want to know? You want to know something amazing? So I have. We had a Patreon come in the other day, and he's been playing at Aria. Aria has Nickel Kino, twenty card Nickel Kino that he's been whacking. Uh, I've got to go check that out for myself. But I'm gonna I'm gonna look and see. Most of the places on the strip are 750 paybacks on the five spot. So if you guys don't already know, what I what I always look for is I'll go to Game Info. I'll bet down, you know, put this down. Look for the five spot. Just go right here. You see this five spot? For one coin, it should be eight, 800 is, is a good pay. Anything over 800 is great. 750, not so good. I mean, it's, it's a lot of strip places that pay 750, but 810 is great. Some of the off strip places will pay up to 830 something, so which is really good. And, and if this is good, then everything else, they use it, the progressive scale or whatever the payout scale is kind of based on that, and then it's, the rest of it's all good. I will say, like, the best machines I've seen so far is Ellis. Like, Ellis. Like, where we're going right now, Ellis. Well, we have actually a couple, uh, a lot of Super Chats that just came in, so uh, wow, really? I'm going to need you to answer a little bit quicker. All right, go. Lori B gave us $2, says, remove your watch. My watch? Is it getting in the way? She said, remove your watch. Oh, really? That's what she said. Remove it? Like, like, remove your watch. Why would I remove it? What's I, going on? She just asked to remove the watch. Oh, really? Well, hey, for two dollars. <laughs> uh, Steve pants B. Are not coming off. Okay. Steve. Uh, yeah. Steve Can you B gave us ten dollars. Says, "Great to meet you all last Monday. Yeah. Thanks for the great crafts lesson with uh, David oh, and Dennis. Oh, oh, the oh. best hand model. Oh, he's fantastic. Hard four only for the ladies and Bruce Willis. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Uh, Clint Vert gave us four dollars and ninety-nine. We love cents. Bruce, by the way. Nothing but love for Bruce. I hope, uh, you know. Watch, watch, watch. See what I'm saying? Clint Vert gave us four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Says, is playing Kino for a comps a thing, or should it just be to unwind? On unwind. If you play enough money, you can get comps, no doubt. Use your player's card. I have gotten to president at Station Casino playing Penny Kino. Penny Kino. Listen, they were shooketh. They were absolutely shooketh. Uh, I think I claimed the very first spot of that ever happening, but you know, at the time I was, you know, I really had nothing else to do, to be honest. <laughs> uh, Robert Barnes yeah. says, I played Kino in High Limit at Mandalay Bay. Uh, last trip, 25 cents on a four card with a great pay table. Apparently, yeah. the, uh, the pay table was 838. Eight, oh, I believe it. I, I know there's a lot of really good, I really have to get out there and look, but I know there's some great, because people, you know, a lot of these machines, they put them in and then they just forget. It's like, you know what I mean? They just leave it there and go with it. But this this one, I mean, I'm, I'm amazed. My own machine has like a lower pay table. That doesn't make any sense, but I'm sure they're good. I'm, I'm just so stunned because Aria, the Aria Kino machines, where they had like two in one week that whacked them for like two hundred thousand dollars. They had uh, it was fantastic. I would love to just play at Aria, sit back, drink, hang out, play in my nickel Kino machine. Be, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Derek I can't. Gives I might not be able to afford to stay. Who? Derek. Oh, yeah, thank you, some... Derek. Derek's loaded, dude. He that said, guy. "Where, where's Jasmine? Because the watch came off." I know. The pants are next, dude. I was uh, re I rethink it. I was rethinking it. Coin pusher, Alan yep. Toy gave us five dollars. Dude, Alan Toy hit all his money on Kino, just so you know. He can't even possibly be a hater. He said, What game is this and how do you play it? This is twenty card. This is twenty and then card. He said, I bought uh, Steve Shear's book, whilst the CQ Casino and Hotel have twenty card yeah. at ten dollars with max payouts. Which one? Will the CQ Casino have Yeah, hundred percent. Twenty card, ten dollars. Yeah. Dude. I, I will Max take, payouts. if we ever have a casino, we will throw in a $1. You don't see a lot of dollar machines in 20 cards. He wants a 10 card. I mean, $10, 20 oh, card. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if we can afford that, man. We'd have to sell, you know, body parts. Uh, you, can you imagine if a $10, a $200 per spin? Can you imagine what, what you, you know, what that, I mean, a million dollar payoff, right? On a 10 spot? I mean, it would be like a million dollars, dude. I would be like, listen here, buddy, suck it. You know what I'm saying? That's we can't do that. That's not a thing. You know what I'm saying? That's that's. Look what we got going. See, that looked like a lot, but it wasn't. All right, here I'm gonna play this down to four thousand. Then we're gonna get the hell out of here. Uh, look forward to some uh, great content. We're gonna be taking some cameras with us. So, again, uh, thank you to Ellis for inviting us for some free food. We're bringing a few staff members. Huh? We're all in our CG shirts, so it's fantastic. Uh, all right. We were supposed to have left at six o'clock, by the way. What time uh, is it? Bonato. Yes. Said, just wanted to say, I came here not for the gambling or to make money, but I'm addicted to both of you. Oh, thank you. Both of us? Apparently. Yeah. No, we love Dennis, dude. Tony Sometimes G. people come in and go, listen here, buddy. I know I booked uh, Dice with David, but uh, do you mind getting Dennis? You know what I mean? Uh, we need Tony more G. Dennis. Huh? Gave us $6.99 Canadian. Yeah. Oh, that's. Says, can't wait for future Kino stream, uh, Kino yeah. live streams. Yeah, I will be at uh, I'll be at the casino playing right along with you live with drinking hands. Oh, fantastic! Hand. Yeah, we I, I listen. This is the beginning. Well, I keep saying that, of course. We were we're we're doing fantastic. The school is all, is damn near sold out. We're and, doing a little and, too uh, good, too busy. Yeah, we've been a little busy. So I I would love to just. I don't think I'm ever gonna lose. It is, uh, by the way, five. Uh, it is six thirteen right now. It is. We we gotta go. We gotta be there at six thirty. It's gonna be. It's gonna be tight. We like it tight, but uh, you know what I mean. Nick S gave us two dollars. Said, "Is that a nipple?" I mean, is it side boob? I mean, what's going on? What kind of what kind of nipple is he talking about? We have we have literally the best fans. Um, all right. Well, there you go. Bam. All right. We gotta go, guys. Thank you so much uh, for being part, and uh, we'll see you next time. We're going to share, we're going to take some cameras, share some video with you, sort of post facto. Those of you are looking for a, you know, a podcast, sorry, you got Kino instead, and we'll see you next week. Steve Sear, our legendary casino host, has said that he will be with us next week, next Tuesday, 6 p.m. for a podcast. 
we're going to hold him to it, so hopefully we'll have him again. Uh, I know a lot of you really, uh, really enjoyed that one, so we're going we're gonna to talk more stories and more gambling. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, guys. Before uh, we run off, care. Christopher Bird Trucking, thank you for the $5. Says, Dennis, get a haircut? No, fading to black. Yeah, bye. Bye.